So Javante trainer Kenny Ellis, he reacted to Shakur versus Artem fight by posting the following. Breaking news, Lomachenko said he will step aside and let Javante Davis fight Shakur Stevenson this fall and he will fight the winner early 2025. Now Kenny Ellis is not going to post anything like that to troll. So if we take this seriously, if Lomachenko is not ready to fight, then yeah, Javante can fight Shakur next, especially when Shakur is now officially a free agent. The Shakur Stevenson fight will be easier to make than the Lomachenko fight. Perhaps Lomachenko wants Javante and Shakur to fight each other so they can eliminate each other. That way he doesn't have to fight both. We shall see for the meantime, Kenny Ellis has been pushing for Javante to fight Shakur. For some reason, he sees something in Shakur that he thinks Javante could take advantage of, which is why he made this post. Kenny has been pushing for the Shakur fight for a very long time. However, that's not up to him. Javante is the boss and Javante prefers to fight Lomachenko first, which is a great fight. Lomachenko is coming off his best win yet. So it will be smart on Javante and to get Lomachenko out of the way first. Either way, Shakur Stevenson last night, he showed he's a completed fighter. He could do it all. He can fight multiple different ways in a very entertaining fashion. I know Shakur is receiving a whole lot of criticism, complaining about how entertaining his performance was. But we cannot blame Shakur for what his opponent does. Remember, when Canelo couldn't stop a two-way division smaller Charlo, you guys said it was because Jamel Charlo was running. Well, keep that same energy with Shakur versus Artem. Shakur tried to do his best to make this an entertaining fight. He came forward. He fought in the pocket. He did everything he said he was going to do leading up to the fight. Shakur told the public that Artem will be the one running everyone made fun of him well he stood on business when he got in that ring after the first couple rounds Shakur started applying pressure on Artem and he did that all night long it was Artem who was boxing and it was Shakur who was applying pressure Shakur was the bull and Artem was the matador so you got to give credit where credit is due Shakur was not able to get the knockout because he's not a Javante he doesn't have the power of Javante nor he has the ability to put punches together like Javante, along with placing his shots the way Javante does. However, what Shakur does have is good power. When Artem felt Shakur power, guess what he did? He started moving. So don't get it twisted. Shakur doesn't have the one punch knockout power the way Tank does, but he does have power. When Edwin De Los Santos felt Shakur power, he was fighting cautious as much as Shakur was for a reason. They both respected each other's power. You see, the reason why Shakur didn't stop Artem last night wasn't because of his power. It was more so of him not being able to put punches together how he was supposed to, nor place his shots accurately. What Shakur needs to work on is, first of all, listen to his corner instead of arguing with his corner. Because Moses was telling Shakur the right things. Use your jab, put your punches together, and place your shots. Shakur kept complaining about Artem moving, but he knew that leading up to the fight, he said Artem is going to be running. So Shakur should have had anticipated that and worked on cutting off the ring. On the other hand, you have to give Artem credit where credit is due. He did a great job utilizing his footwork and feints. You see, Shakur couldn't just walk in and let his hands go because he was worried about Artem counters. Artem was fainting with Shakur the whole entire time and Shakur was respecting that because he kept reacting to that. What I like to see from Shakur moving forward is set up his offense better. He could have done that multiple ways. Javante does that type of thing all the time. That's why Javante is so special because he has so many tools in his toolbox. Tank has a great defense, but he also has a very great offense. He knows how to set up his offense. And that's what Shakur is having a hard time with as of late. Because Shakur, he likes to be patient and wait on his opponents to make mistakes. 
Artem didn't make that many mistakes, and that's why Shakur didn't have an offensive display the way he wanted to. In the middle rounds, Shakur was on his verge to stop in Artem, but he did not pick it up to another gear. He didn't turn it up the way he was supposed to, and because of that, Artem was able to cruise to the 12th round. Javante, on the other hand, he's able to be defensively responsible, while at the same time, setting up his offense and having an impressive offensive display, which is why Javante is so unique. So is Shakur. But when Javante and Shakur meet, I truly believe Shakur is going to fight a cautious fight, as he should, because Javante could put someone lights out with one single punch. That's all it takes, which is why I believe Shakur is still going to give Javante Davis, a very hard puzzle to solve because of his abilities that he possesses, such as great defense, great counter punching abilities, great timing, great range, etc., etc., etc. Javante has more attributes than Shakur, but still, that's going to end up being a very, very tough stylistic fight for Javante Davis. So go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and to be continued on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Play, so uh, Skip, well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. On a great way. This is Skip Brown from Dante's Boxing Nation by way of Akhi TV. You just beat a really good Southpaw and both of the other uh, champions in your division of Southpaws, Lomachenko and Stevens. Lomachenko and Stevens. Did Frank Martin prepare you for those fights? No, I don't think so, because they, they all fight different. They all fight different. One a boxer, one, like, you know, try to stay in front of you. Frank was somewhat a boxer, but they, they, why are we? <laughs> no, but he was, you know, it's cool. They all fight different. You know, I approach every fight different. So I don't think it helped me for them guys. You and David Benavides went to combo. Would you want him again in the same part? Yeah, for sure. And we could, and we could uh, swap it out. You know, I mean, I could be co-main. He could be main event. It don't matter. Uh, last thing, your, your prediction for you and Nova? Predictions? No, I say, man, ass whooping to me, man. Ass whooping. Felt in the ass. <laughs> <laughs>